Hello Gemini and welcome to my channel Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a general love, sex, and romance reading. This is an 18 and older reading because we will be talking about adult topics. I will also be using the Casanova Tarot which has adult images on it. Okay, So if that's something that makes you uncomfortable, please fast forward to another video um, and stay tuned to the end of this video where I have your individual signs. Uh, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for a uh, Mercury retrograde. Now, if this um, naughty November adult reading for love, sex, and romance does not resonate with you, Gemini, please go ahead and check your other signs. Also, while I'm getting the cards ready, I'm going to ask that you guys go ahead and you give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, comment and share at the end of the video if that's something that you like to do. Um, I'm also going to just let you know that we are doing a Celtic cross spread for you today and at the end I will pull a few oracle cards. So without any more rambling, let's go ahead and let's get into this reading, Gemini. All right, Spirit, so what does Gemini need to know for their naughty, naughty November reading? Sex, love, and romance. Okay, the first card out, Gemini, this is you. Wow, this is the Queen of Wands energy. Very sexy, you're on fire. In your surroundings, we have Cancer, Water Sign, the Chariot. What's blocking you is the Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment, Pleasure. Hmm. What's in your foundation? The stars. Mm, very nice air sign. Aquarius in your foundation, Gemini. In your recent past, the world. Some up-leveling going on. In your love light, love life, what crowns you? The four of wands. Very sexy. Nice, strong energy. Some of you may be in a committed relationship or with a twin flame or a soulmate partner. And in your near future, we have the King of Pentacles. So your overall energy, my dear, is the Two of Swords. So the Two of Swords is all about making a decision or it's about not making a decision. You can see that there are two people here. You may be with somebody or you may be thinking about somebody and you're not really totally committed yet. All right, Gemini, and this is swords energy, so this is Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius energy. You're not completely committed, but you can see she does have her, her pants half off and she does have her top open, but she is turning away like she might be playing hard to get. So remember, you can reverse the roles in this reading. Um, so this might either be you if you identify more with the divine feminine, or this might be you, the divine masculine, trying to figure out why things aren't going full force or moving on to to the next level here because it looks like you may have had that conversation or you have just done an up leveling in your recent past but we'll get to that so gemini in this reading you are completely on fire and sexy this is the queen of wands this is somebody who's very social who's very chatty just like you are uh, which makes a lot of sense. Somebody who is absolutely gorgeous, commands attention when he or she walks into the room. This person is well-dressed and very well-liked. This person is very, very confident and charismatic, adventurous, fun, and has this real fiery energy to them. Um, and I, I think a lot of that charisma and a lot of that passion really, really comes through when you are out in public, Gemini. Now, the Queen of Wands also comes with a bit of a warning. She can be a little bit testy. She can be very passionate and fiery when she's angry. So she may, you know, uh, literally pick things up and throw them, um, or she just may be like very direct and confrontational when angry, or maybe somebody who is quick to anger. Now, in your surroundings, we have a lot of movement and a lot of movement forward. So you may have a lot of friends, you may have a lot of lovers, you may have family, you may have whatever and whoever is in your surroundings, people that are real go-getters, people that are moving forward, or you just might be on a very forward-moving trajectory. Now, my dear Gemini, don't forget we will be moving into 
um, Mercury retrograde. Mercury will be moving into retrograde on the 31st through November 20th. So this forward movement that you're accustomed to, or maybe you've been on that trajectory or on this sort of path, may come to a halt and you may see a little bit of backward movements here or feeling like things aren't moving. But remember, that doesn't necessarily mean things have stopped or that things are going backwards. So again, you might be being re revisited by people from your past or situations from your past that you have to go back over. This is also cancer energy, so you may have prominent cancer in your surroundings. All right, now what's blocking you? This is a very yummy, delicious card, and this is wish fulfillment. So something about your desires, not getting what you want when you want it. As a Gemini, you might be accustomed to very quick energy, especially with this Two of Swords. You might be stalling. You might be wondering, why are things taking so long, okay? Um, why things are taking so long and underneath that I can't help but notice we do have the temperance card which is Sagittarius so you may also be dealing with Sagittarius but temperance card is all about self-care finding balance and finding the middle road which is very nice to find underneath the two of swords because the two of swords is all about balance so when we're talking about your blocks my dear Gemini Gemini and this wish fulfillment there's a lot of pleasure there's something that's not allowing you to fully release, to fully enjoy this moment. And it could be because your mind is elsewhere or you feel torn between two people, two ideas, two worlds. Maybe you still have your mind on work. Maybe you have your mind on your spirituality. Maybe there's some sort of conflict. There's some sort of tension here. Maybe you feel like this person doesn't totally love you or isn't completely deserving of your love, but there's something here that's not letting you sort of achieve this orgasm literally and um, figuratively here, okay? So um, in your foundation, we have Aquarius energy, and this is the nighttime sky. This is the star. This is hope. This is optimism. This is healing. This is rejuvenation. So remember, under the Two of Swords, we had this temperance card, and temperance is all about that middle road. She's all about healing. She's all about finding balance, and I feel like this is, uh, this is something that you normally can do. You normally, you're accustomed to change. You're accustomed to moving forward. You're accustomed to getting over the difficult times by using your sheer optimism and your willpower that we see here in this chariot card to make things better. But you, uh, and you really need to continue to employ this optimism in your love life. And you've, and I think deep down when you go within, you know that things are going to change and that you have the ability to change that just by imagining them so and just by thinking them so and having that hope, okay? And using all of the things that have gotten you there in the past. Now, in the recent past, we have the world card. This is you having the world at your fingertips. I feel like you've just completed a major cycle. You may have just released a person, a relationship that was toxic, behavior patterns. You might have just moved. You might have just received um, a huge upgrade, okay, a spiritual upgrade, or maybe even in your love life, you may have actually, you know, you may have actually nailed the person that you wanted to nail down, okay? You may have actually... Um, you may have actually solidified a relationship. You may have actually proposed to somebody. Somebody may have proposed to you or you may have just decided to take your relationship to the next level, okay? This could be in your romantic partnerships, but it may also just be in your life, in work, in spirituality. What's crowning you, we have the Four of Wands. And the Four of Wands, this is a twin flame energy. This is a marriage. That's why I think for a lot of you in your recent past, this world card has to do with a relationship, okay? Because we have twos coming out here, which is a partnership. And a partnership that gives you a lot of peace and a lot of balance, a lot of rest, a lot of rejuvenation. It's really made you heal, Okay, so healing through love, my dear Gemini, but you're kind of at a crossroads. So after you've had this great up leveling, maybe some of you have gotten married or maybe you guys have realized you are with the person you want to marry, or maybe you're in separation with the person that you want to marry. 
This card is a very voyeuristic card because we have this beautiful maiden. I love how her hands are open, her chest is open. Sorry, her arms are up over her head. She has her heart chakra completely open. She's not afraid. She doesn't feel vulnerable or under threat or in peril by any means. And she's washing herself. And this is so much like a lot of the star cards that we see in the traditional Rider Waite tarot where this maiden is in the water and anybody who comes across her she is going to provide for, she's going to help. But we can see that there's somebody looking on in the shadows in the background and watching this beautiful maiden. And so again, I'm really getting that somehow there's a little bit of a disconnect in this committed relationship. And if you're not in a committed relationship, but you are separated from your twin or your soulmate, or maybe you're just sort of looking at someone, or maybe you've just started a relationship. Um, I'm getting some of you maybe watching them online, following their Instagram, their Twitter, maybe on YouTube, what have you, but you're standing there in the shadows, but you do feel like this is your soulmate. This is your twin flame. In the near future or in your future outcome, I've got the King of Pentacles. This is Earth energy. This is Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn energy. And this is loving father. This is stability. This is a very, very loving and blessed partner. This is a family man. This can also be remembered just because there's a male in this imagery. It doesn't mean that it's not speaking to you. It's just your masculine energy. And he's very, very stable. He's somebody who works for the better, you know, the betterment of his family, of his tribe, and of his partnership, okay? So you may have a Taurus Virgo Capricorn coming to you, um, and if this person, if your person is Taurus Virgo and Capricorn, then I'm getting that, you know, this person is very honest, very reliable, very stable, very hardworking. I do feel like there is a block, there is a slight disconnect with you and this person though. This woman, she's turning away, she's not fully committed for one reason or the other, okay? But I want you to have hope, my dear Gemini, because one or both of you, she has her back to you, you're kind of front looking at a distance I'm getting, and so there's, again, there's this distance between you, but I do get that this is a karmic relationship and there can be a lot of healing and spiritual out alchemy found throughout this relationship and in this partnership. And look, underneath that, we have the Ten of Cups, and that is complete ecstasy, complete joy, happiness, abundance, emotional fulfillment, okay? But there is just a tiny block here for you guys, okay, or for you, Gemini. And if you're not in a committed relationship, it may be you knowing who the person you have your person is or meeting this person, but not being able to move forward exactly because we do have Mercury in retrograde, okay? This card just fell out. Here we have the number 44. This is moving forward. I love this card, um, the 44 card. She's moving forward, she's in a group. Um, she's absolutely gorgeous. She's moving through this water, so it's very emotional. We definitely have some Cups cards coming out, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, but the Swans are all about peace, about beauty and transformation. And I feel like in this relationship or you feel like with your person, you will find a lot of transformative and healing energy. Okay, but make sure that everybody's aligned, that everything's aligned before you move forward. And it may not be during Mercury retrograde, which some of you may remember is August, uh, August October 31st through November 20th. Okay, so you might need a little bit of patience here, my dear Gemini. All right. Here we have a little bit of performance anxiety going on. Again, I can see that with this block here, with this nine of cups, this wish fulfillment, everything that you could possibly want to people giving and receiving. But there's a little bit of performance anxiety that may be bothering you. Um, and it could be something from the past that's frightening. You could feel like you're not at your best at this moment. I feel like this person is looking back at a time when her performance was amazing, when she was stable, when she was in the best shape, when she was, you know, nailing every move on point. She had complete balance and something has knocked you off of balance. And that's why we have this two of swords energy coming out, this tension, okay, trying to find that balance trying to figure out which decision to make. Some of you may be in between partners as well. You may have, uh, you may not be in a committed relationship and you may be just trying to decide between two people. 
All right, so let's go ahead and pull two more oracle cards for my dear Geminis. Okay, wow, time. I'm getting here that you're going to have to, um, uh, you're going to have to use the idea of detachment. Okay, everything happens. Divine timing is at work. Um, this could be if you are still waiting to approach your person. This could also be that you have found your person, but maybe the timing wasn't right, so you might have to wait. And I still keep getting that message from Spirit that it might not happen while Mercury is in retrograde. So my dear Geminis, no matter how quickly you want to move forward and you're ready for this transformation through love, because I see that you've had an up-leveling and if it's a committed relationship, you might want to make it move forward even quicker, but I want you to celebrate the small victories and the small sort of changes in status that you guys are receiving. Okay, for those of you who are single, don't get too anxious about it because that's only going to serve to make, uh, to cause more delays. Okay, Gemini, and your last oracle card is, wow, yes, this is a very, uh, this is a vanity card. Okay, this is making sure that you are not being too vain. Um, for those of you who are alone, make sure it's okay to, you know, fake it until you make it. But really, please don't put on an air of, I don't care, nothing bothers me, I'm beautiful, I don't need anyone. Okay, because this energy is only going to serve to enclose you and create sort of a funky, distorted house of mirrors. So do let people in. I know that Gemini, you guys are very fast moving. You guys are air signs. So when you want to make an Akip commitment, um, you know, it's not something that you take lightly. All right. But um, it is like maybe you need a little bit more outward fo focus at this time, okay? Try to see the bigger picture. And just make sure that you're not being, you know, you're not being bound by illusions, especially anything unrealistic, having to do with time and patience. And expect a big transformation. But remember, transformations almost never happen overnight. All right, so I'm just going to pull a few more oracle cards. Uh, romance angel cards for you and see what else spirit has to say for my Gemini naughty November reading okay love yourself first yeah all right your self-respect makes you romantically attractive but there is a difference between vanity and self-care okay so I am getting that so I get that there are things that you need to heal Okay, you're looking at the past or you're looking to a time when you were better, when you felt better, and there are blocks that you need to heal. Okay, but make sure that you're very, you're very honest. Bring it down to earth, okay? Because this vanity card is not an honest assessment of, you know, the issues at hand. Okay, religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Yeah, because I'm seeing a lot of up-leveling, a lot of transformation, okay, especially spiritual transformation, and you may be waiting for this person to come in and do that for you or thinking that love is going to do that for you. Now, love has many healing properties, but remember, you can't give somebody else or a relationship all of the agency to do your healing, my dear Gemini. Okay, you deserve love. Okay, so don't forget no matter how you're feeling, no matter what blocks that you have, you deserve your wishes to come true. You deserve love. You are worthy, but that has to come from within. Okay, it's not just looking at how you're dressed or, you know, your body type or, you know, what you have. We're all worthy because we are here. Give your relationship a chance and work on your partnership. I love this. So this is for those of you who are committed. And for those of you who are not committed, this is also your relationship with the divine, with your higher self, and with your self-care. Okay, my dear Geminis, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you enjoyed your very naughty November reading. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, comment and share if that's something you like to do. And I just want to thank you guys for being on this journey with me. It means so much to me. I love you all so much and I hope you have a very naughty, naughty November.